I mean, do you think, cause we just had Frankie Grande on twice. I know you guys did oh. your rock of ages thing. Yeah, over the we summer. did. We, I, I was just with uh, he and his sister uh, just a couple of months ago, we did a big rock of ages reunion concert, which was great, which was great. And he just got engaged and I'm so happy for him. Ariana's married, Frankie's engaged. I mean, unbelievable. The Grande <laughs> family is settling down over there, right? I know, yeah. Well, uh, maybe not the mom. The mom is having a good time. She's got her beautiful home. We got to go up there. We had a wonderful dinner with everybody when we were in town. And she had all the cast there and we were playing music, you know, around the piano. She had the pool all lit up, the house in the hills. They work so hard. They've had amazing success, but honestly, they are the kindest and most sincere family that I've, I've come across in this business, maybe ever, you know? And <clears throat> they're the first people like, straight up, Ariana came up to me. She's like, I, I can't believe how good you still sound. I can't believe you still can sing that way. Cause I was singing some big time, hard rock, high notes, you know? And, you know, I'm not, 25 or even 35 anymore and a lot of people start to sort of lose that that gift a little bit into their 40s especially when they're singing like that a lot but yeah. you know I've sort of figured out how to do it healthy and she they're the first people to be like at the stage door like fanning you do you know what I mean like and they're not they're not worried about like people seeing that like and Frankie will tell you he's like no no I'm like a fanboy. I'm a fanboy. Like he's a big star, but he's like the first one to geek out on you and come to support you. And that's what I just love about them. Um, all of them, their whole, their whole inner circle, or, you know, they're just beautiful people. And Ariana is the same way. Like she fangirled out over you at the rock of ages event. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, fangirl, I don't, you know, she's, you know, a global superstar, but you know, we had a nice moment. She signed this, um, she signed actually our production sheet for my daughter, which was really sweet. We got a great picture. And um, yeah, we just, we're just chatting it up a little bit. And now you have to remember, I've known her a long time. Um, they used to come to Jekyll and Hyde pretty much every night when we were in LA for like a month. They came like every night. We had dinners at their homes. And, you know, she was already a big TV star, but the first album hadn't come out yet and you know Deborah Cox and I you know pretty two pretty established people you know Deborah Cox you know had huge hits um she broke billboard records with uh, nobody's supposed to be here um Grammy nominated everything and um and we were working our ass off in Jekyll and Hyde and she's like you guys just wait you wait until you see you wait till you hear my record and we're like all right okay you know I, I know it's going to be awesome you're incredibly talented you know but you never know they tell you one thing you know they're gonna push this single and then this and that happens and we've all been through it so you know just you know who, whatever happens um you know you, you're young and you're a star and you're gonna have uh, you have a long career overnight her album comes out and it just takes over music. And she has for the next 10 years. It, it's just wild. Like she knew, she knew she had something. And that's, that's amazing. And, uh, and she's such a good kid. She's such a good kid. You know, I'm happy for her. And, and he, uh, don't... he better be good to her, that guy. He better be good to or, her. Or Jekyll and Hyde is going to come for him. He don't want any part of that. You'll have to like meet him and suss him out. Like, so Ariana hasn't changed at all.